Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Did you know that July is National Hot Dog Month? Me neither. So, thought I'd make a retro hot dog sign. Let's get into it. I drew the shape of a hot dog in a bun on some MDF, and I cut it out with my scroll saw. And I'll get to painting. This will be a quick one today. I'll start with the bun. Two coats of Ceram Coat Maple Sugar Tan. Today I'm participating in the What Month Is It collab, hosted by my friend Tammy of Happiness Created, co-hosted by Missy of Missy's Crafty Cove and Jackie of Mamma Mia DIY. This month's special guest host is Emily of Farm Charm Chic. Now that the bun is finished, I'll give the hot dog two coats of Ceram Coat Burnt Sienna. So this dog is going to need some mustard. First, I'll paint my mustard squiggle with white paint because this will allow the yellow to be more vibrant when I paint over it in yellow. And while I have the white on the go, I'll paint in some chopped onions. Just making a couple of little crescents here and there. To fill in the mustard, I'll double load my brush with ceramic coat pale yellow and straw. I put them next to each other on my plate and I'll pull my brush through the center where they meet. This will allow me to highlight and shade in one go. I'm just following that white squiggle and I'll reload my brush as needed. Relish. Same idea as the mustard. I'll double load my brush with Ceram Coat Spring Green and Parsley. I'm using a flat brush for the relish and I'll make small strokes right around or along the bun's edge and I'll overlap some of the strokes. I can't even remember the last time I had relish. Might have to pick some up. I'll use some floating medium to add some highlights and shading to the bun and the hot dog. I'll prep my brush with the floating medium and I'll scoop up some weight on one corner of the brush. I'll load the bristles by stroking it on my plate and I'll start with the white highlight right along the bun where it meets the hot dog. A lot of times people will ask me what the medium does. It actually helps to feather the paint out so that it gives it a faded kind of appearance. The color will be strongest at the very corner that has the paint on it. And then the color fades out as it moves toward the center of the brush. It gives it a kind of ombre effect. Okay, so the shading is the same process, but I'll use golden brown and floating medium. I'll shade the top edge of the top bun first, paint side of my brush to the edge. And I'll reload both with the medium and the paint as I see or feel like it needs it. 
the bottom bun, I'll shade first, just under the white highlight, then I'll go completely around the edge of the bun. I'll use dark chocolate and I'll shade around the hot dog. So the shading goes anywhere that there would be a shadow. You can always look at an illustration or a photograph to give you an idea of where the highlights and the shadows fall. And I'll dip in here around the mustard a wee bit too. As you may know, I like to layer my shading, so I'll add a wee bit of dark chalk just above the golden brown on the top bun. And on the bottom bun, I'll shade along the bottom edge. I've cut a stencil with my silhouette, which I'll apply right here in the center of the bun. I'll pounce on some Mod Podge with a cosmetic sponge to keep the paint from bleeding under the stencil. When the Mod Podge is dry, I'll pounce on white. This again is so that my final color, which will be watermelon, will be more vibrant and true to its shade. And now that the white has dried, I'll pounce over my stencil with ceramic coat watermelon. And I actually do give this two coats. I'll remove the vinyl to nice, crisp letters. And now I'll weed out all the wee bits of vinyl. Yeah, I really should have done a better job centering those letters. But that's okay. I can live with it. I'll come in with my liner brush and some white to add highlights to the letters. Just along the left side there. Since this will hang on my pool shed by the barbecue, I'll seal it with Minwax Helmsman Spray. This is an excellent outdoor sealant. And there you have my homage to National Hot Dog Month. Thank you, Tammy, for hosting and including me. Thank you, Missy and Jackie, for co-hosting. And special thanks to Emily for guest hosting. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.